Hi there guys, again it's Kenji here and welcome back to Life of Clay and welcome also to all our new viewers out there. Today I will be making the Chinese mint leg centipede is Colopendra subspinipes. And before we get started, please consider subscribing and click that bell icon so you won't miss out all our future videos. And without further ado, grab a cup of coffee, bring the clay on and let's begin. I use aluminum wire with 3mm diameter for the main body, doing 1 to 1 scale of this centipede species, which is 20cm in length, along with 1mm wire for the maxillipede and its poisonous fangs or for cipules, where I sharpen both ends to make them pointy and bend them into crescent shape. Attach it to one end of the 3mm wire using two parts epoxy and secure it with yarn. The number of subspecies of subspinipes is unclear and this mint leg centipede is one of those no valid subspecies. Adding epoxy to the main wire and wrap it with aluminum foil. The epoxy makes the foil steady. Secure with masking tape and position her. And let's begin sculpting. I use Premo translucent mixed with little gray clay and green color soap pastel. This clay is for her underside. Starting the half of her body first, so later after baking it, I can hold this part and continue the other half. Adding the clay for her underside first, shaping it and adding segments. Detailing the sternites or the ventral shield of an arthropod underside. I am detailing here the trochanter, which is the second segment of the legs, next to coxa and femur. And now let's sculpt the tergites or the dorsal plate of the centipede using this gray colored clay. Trim off the excess and add segment. Shape each plate into squares with rounded edge. Escalopendra subspinipes is a popular pet among arthropod hobbyists and even considered by other countries as delicacy and their fulvorized body and even their venom is used by Chinese folk medicine to treat rheumatism, convulsions, and many more. Escolopendra subspinipes is a very large centipede found throughout Eastern Asia, Tropical and Subtropical Asia from Russia to the island of Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia, South and Central America, Caribbean island, and possibly part of the Southern United States. Detailing each plate with ridge on both sides using a spoon-shaped tool. Poking this trochanter of the legs using a piercing tool so drilling may become easier. Adding 
adding more texture on the side of her body using a ball tip tool. And now it's ready for the first baking. And we can now resume the other half of its body, same procedures are applied. And after that, let's do the second baking. Next is sculpting maxilliped and fangs, shaping two small pieces of clay into cone. Cut halfway through and drop to the wires, and shape them. These forcipules are the centipede main weapon, injecting venom to its prey or even its owner. Adding an oval shaped piece of clay for the first and second tergum or the dorsal plate next to its head. Adding a piece of clay to form the first body segment where maxilliped and mandibles are attached. Adding joint details on the forcipules and attaching the pair of mandibles. Next is sculpting the pair of maxillary pulp. Form a triangular shape of clay for the head and shape it according to the reference. Poke the area for the eyes and antennae. Forming a tiny balls of clay for the eyes. For the legs, I use 0.8mm bronze wire, 7cm in length trimming the end diagonally and filing both ends to make them pointy. I adjust the length of the last pair of hind legs for they are a bit longer than these legs on its mid body. And for the antennae, I use 0.5mm bronze wire. And I use heat gun to cure this maxillary pulp. Now that these wires are pointed, let's begin bending them and arrange the length accordingly considering that legs closer to her head are shorter than those on her rear. Centipede's name derives from the new Latin centi meaning hundred and pes or pedis meaning foot. Belongs to class Chylopoda, ancient Greek kylos meaning lip, new Latin poda meaning foot describing the forcipules. Also belong to the subphylum myriapod group of arthropod, which also includes millipedes and other multi-legged creatures. And now let's begin sculpting the legs. I color a translucent clay with blue soap pastel and mix it with the aqua green colored clay.
transform some clay into noodle and flatten them. Covering the rear legs pieces by pieces to make it nicely segmented. I use this locking plier to hold the wire in this way I can sculpt these legs with an ease. Brush them with alcohol and set aside. For the antennae, I use two colored translucent clay of yellow and the aqua green. Cover the wire, shape them, and add segments. And for the other legs, I just covered them with clay, shaped them into slender and add joint details using a cone of soda can and rubber tip tool. And for the other legs, same procedures is applied. And now it's time to bake them preparing my Arabian sand as a bedding. Sand helps to avoid deforming these legs while baking. And it also distributes heat evenly. Now that all the parts are ready, we can drill the main body and attach them. In attaching the pair of maxillary pulp and antennae, I used two parts epoxy and super glue for the rest of the legs. And there it is, now let's go on painting it. I use the combination of raw shena, burnt shena, and alizarin crimson for its dorsal plates. I did two coatings of it. Since the head is a little bit darker in tone, I use the combination of Bernsheno, Black, and Alizarin Crimson.
and to add depth to its dorsal plates, I use the same paint mix diluted with acrylic medium and brush on the edge of each plate. And for the dark edge of each plate, I use the combination of burnt amber, burnt sienna, and black, diluted with acrylic medium to make a smooth gradient. Painting the four sepals with diluted sap green, bass yellow, and burnt sienna. Brushing a diluted burnt sienna and black mix on the edge of its head. Adding speckles on the side of its body using the paint we used on its plate edge. Brushing the side and underside of its body with the wash of burnt sienna and black mix. Painting the joints of her legs and ventral with diluted yellow and sap green mix. Painting the eyes and the tip of the forcipules with black. And we can seal her now with water-based varnish. To avoid too much glossiness, I mix matte and gloss together. And there we go, our gorgeous mint leg centipede is finally done. She's now ready for centipede walk. Hope you like our sculpting tutorial today guys. And please don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you will be updated for our new videos. Thank you again for watching and supporting my channel. Have a great day everyone.